Right, so a lot of people have been talking about, like, this breakfast stuff in dreams. I don't... Like, I guess it's because uh, in different cultures, there's different foods, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I know it looks good, but, like, why? Why the food? Uh, It's been prevalent all throughout dreams, like the food has. And it's always been the eggs or of some sort. And this looks really real, Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it doesn't make me hungry, I guess, because I already ate. <laughs> but, um, let's go ahead and look at it in-game real quick, see if I'm being tricked. No, I'm not being tricked. This, um, let's see here. So, this is photorealistic. Definitely photorealistic. Uh, it looks better the closer you are at it, which is really, really interesting to me. I don't know why. You would think the further you are away from it. Oh, cool, yeah, I can go straight into it. So as you can see here, you see the flick dimensions. Let's go ahead and look at every last flick real quick to see if the texture really matters. It doesn't seem like it does, but it could. I can definitely tell the comb tool was probably used for a couple of these things. And there's definitely, um, there's a light somewhere. I think it's coming from up here. You see the lights can actually make things look a whole lot more realistic. That's actually a big touch that was probably used for this uh, sculpture. Um, there's a light somewhere and that's uh, what's, that's the key ingredient that's doing everything, that's making everything realistic. I can tell you that right now. And then there's the waxiness effect. Really, it might not be as hard as you may think to actually do this. Especially with food, because with food, and since Dreams does like a lot of the cast shadows for you, with food, you know, you see the burnt stuff, like it's really easy to like know what details you have to add. And even the indentions here to get it to uh, feel realistic. If that makes sense. So choosing food to do this is probably actually a really good idea. Whereas if you're choosing a face, you really have to um, work on the environment. Because the environment, you can't just, I mean, you can just have a light shining on it. But even with this, you see there's an environment to make it cozy and there's steam coming from this just to let you guys know. Um, and with the beans, it seems like it's actually just one bean, like a circle, and then copied a few times. And then... The further you are away from the beans, the realer it gets, you know what I'm saying? So with the beans, it's definitely like that. With everything else, it just seemed like the closer I was, the better. But with the beans, the the closer I am, it's not like that. Which is really cool. Um, the plate's a really good touch. The silverware is really good touch. Um, everything looks fancy. The wood... And I hope you guys are enjoying my breakdown of how to do this. I mean, I mean, I might, I might do something like this if I'm ever motivated enough to. But I've already made a realistic sculpture, and now he, somebody else has already done the food. The only reason why I would want to do something like this is just to show people that I could do it too. But I feel like I'd do that later on and, you know, let people that deserve their shine deserve their shine, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't like doing that either. Um, especially when this is really, really good. But it does motivate me to actually want to attempt it, you know what I'm saying? Because it'd be fun. 
It'd be fun. And like I was saying, with food, it's really easy to see the things that you need to add for it to be realistic. It's really just shapes and then adding the stuff to make it realistic. And then not forgetting what you need to add. Because when you think about it, what is this? It's a circle. It's a half circle. And then what cuts in it. The cuts are, are blend cuts that probably have color. You just do that a few times. And then, um, you know, you got to add the, the seasoning on top. And then it's really, like, like, like I said, it's like, it's not, it's, it's not that it's hard. It's just every single, remember what I'm saying here. Every single thing that's on these objects had to be done a specific way. And that's how you do this stuff. Every single thing on this object had to be done a specific way. Like you can't make this the way you make the hot dog thing. And you can't make the seasoning on top of this the way you made the pepper on top of the eggs. Like, he, you know, like, I mean, it's the same format, but it's not the same, um, it's not the same, um, style, if that makes sense. So you would have to know the style for each thing, like the butter on top of the toast, it's not necessarily the way the bean, um, the bean uh, spread, not the beans themselves, the stuff that's covering the beans barbecue sauce I think it's not necessarily the same way as the barbecue sauce was made with the bean with the butter on the bread and the burntness on this isn't necessarily the burntness on the mushrooms it seems like this was more cut in and maybe done with uh, the kaleidoscope tool maybe whereas this one these ones over here would have just been cut burnts a few times. So yeah, um, and then the texture of the flicks might matter, you know what I'm saying? Might. But it's actually really interesting, um, and it's a little fuzzy, you know what I'm saying? And over here, there's not that much color. Over here, there is color. And I guess that's to make it to where it can pop out, like the actual stuff. But if you're looking this way, you know, you can get a different type of, type of mood, maybe a, you know, sad mood. But if you want to be happy, you look over here, you know what I'm saying? So really, really cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this art breakdown of uh, Dreams PS4 and all that great stuff. I really, I'm not, I'm not doing art breakdowns. Um, that much just because uh, I, I i i mean i mean i can it's just uh we'll do it when we do it um it's not gonna be an everyday thing hope you guys enjoyed it tell me what you think peace out